Today, we will be starting a brand new Minecraft 1.18 survival world, and this is going to become my one and only long time survival series. This series is going to be heavily focused on building. So we're going to be building a bunch of different kingdoms and connecting them all together, creating a bunch of different style builds. So it's going to be a really fun project. But before we do that, we got to get ourselves started. So let's get in game. Now, this is what I call a perfect spawn. My favorite biome, spruce. You guys know how much I love my spruce. Now, let's go ahead and start punching wood like we do in all survival worlds. And there we go. We've got our first block of the game. Now, guys, if you want to follow along with this seed, I will leave it in the description. So be sure to check that out. And uh, this series is going to be a little bit different. I want to start with a few different styles. So for this one, I think today's first build is going to be building our starter base, of course. And we're going to go with something a bit different. I'm thinking something up in the mountains as we are in the mountains with the Caves and Cliffs update. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a crafting table because we're not going to get anywhere without that. Let's grab some sticks and we get ourselves a wooden pickaxe. Let's grab some cobblestone and some stone tools. Now we only need two last things, which are going to get us all set up for our long journey ahead. So we need to get ourselves some food. And wool, more wool. We need one more. Yeah, sheepy, sheepy. And before we get our last sheep, we have definitely got to eat. Aha, and our final sheep. There we go. Now we've got enough wool for a bed, we can relax. Let's get some flowers. We're going to do this one a little different. Let's get ourselves some red wool, and we're going to have a red bed. Seems like I always make a white bed. I think a red bed is going to be a nice little change. You didn't see anything. You didn't see nothing. Wasn't me. And finally, it's time to finish up day one. The next thing is to focus on a location, somewhere that we want to build. And like I said, I want to build somewhere in the snowy peaks or sort of towards the snowy peaks so that we have it as a bit of a backdrop. Ooh. Yeah, no, we're not ready for that yet. We'll come back to that a bit later on. Ideally, I want to find somewhere where we've also got a village fairly close. I don't want to have to transport villagers too far away if we want to be doing any trading and stuff like that so um yeah uh we need some food we need some food we got some fish there we go something like this is pretty good but something like that is definitely better that is what we want we want some snowy peaks but it's finding the right spot because i want a nice slope kind of want to make a bit of a mountain village if you like Something that kind of comes down and curves and slopes around the edge of the mountain is what I've kind of got in mind. I've got a bit of a style that I've kind of kind of thought up. I'm not too sure how well it's going to look, but we'll see once we get to it. But first of all is location. Location is going to be key. Okay, now this could work. This has got a bit more of a slope on it, so we can actually sort of work from some of the higher edges. If we dig a little edge, we'll have a bit more to work with. But this could be pretty good. Looks like we've got a village as well, which is even better, because I said we needed some villagers for when we want to do some trading a bit later on. So, oh, this, this could be perfect, actually. Yes, this is perfect. What kind of beautiful spot actually kind of got the mountain but down here you got this kind of dipped in area over here does this go all the way around does it open up or does it actually finish looks like it might finish there we could we could turn this maybe into a lake at some point not now that's a that's a lot of water but we could do but this looks great I think this is going to be where we're going to sell. We're going to sell here. Okay, this house is as good as any. Let's go ahead and clear some of this out. And we're going to put down our crafting table. Okay, let's make ourselves a few barrels. Let's just drop those for the moment. And I guess for now, we can just put some up there. And then maybe a couple up there. 
that would do just to store some of our flowers and stuff i'm sorry guys i did go a little crazy on the flower picking but i couldn't help myself okay let's let some of this food cook and excuse me this is my bed now excuse me thank you seriously some villagers are just so rude anyway where were we we was cooking some food Right, time to get some food and then we're going to head down into the mines and see what we can gather up. Okay, this village hasn't got an awful lot to offer. So far, we've got some hay. I think hay is pretty much about all this village has to offer, to be honest. And I didn't think this place had a door for a minute. Uh, no, it's got a bed. Okay, I think our only luxury of this village is hay. And... Thinking of which, where is Dave? I know every village has a Dave and he's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, what's this guy got? Just bookshelves. Okay, we'll come back to you later on. You can stay in there. I'm going to need at least a couple of you guys. So anyone else want to hang around in their house for a minute? So we've got one villager trapped. I just want to make sure that we've got ourselves a second villager trapped. Let's see if we can get this one on there. There we go. Now, you should be able to fall down there nice and safe. Go on, it's safe. There you go. Now, I can come back to you a little bit later on. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Okay, what do we got? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong cave, wrong cave. Let's get out of here quick. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, right. You've got it, Skeleton. You're mine. Down you go. Down. Yes, we did it. Okay. All done. Phew. Although, I've got to say, my gosh, our life has gone down pretty quick. We're going to need to get some armor and quick and definitely some food. Better get that before I run out. Okay, we got some torches. We should be good to go for the moment. Okay. He ain't seen us yet. We'll get him in a minute. Let's get this iron. Okay, let's get my backs turned. One, two, and... Ooh, okay, yep, we're good. We're good. It's okay. No harm done. Okay, time to stop being a chicken. Come on, let's go. Down you go. One, two, come on. You put your bow away, for God's sake. Come on. Okay, and we got some more friends who want to join him. And a creeper. Come on, down you guys go as well. I am not ready to deal with you today. I've only got a stone sword and two creepers. Come on, be fair. Well, okay. Well, don't go rid of them, guys. Phew. Man, is it just me or are these caves seriously nerve-wracking? I feel like something's going to pop out any second on me. Okay, and we got another creeper. All right, and looks like he wants to be backed up by his buddy. Seriously, can't you guys just take me one-on-one -on -one anymore? Come on, you want some as well? Well, you can go where your friend just went. Ooh, okay, that was not good. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves a shield. There we go. At least we're a little bit more protected. Okay, with this first little bit of iron, I think I'm going to just make myself a little bit of armor. So that's all I can do for now. But at least it's something, you know. It's a little bit of protection at least. Whoa, this is a pretty big cave. And it's very dark. Okay, let's try and light some of this up as quick as we can. Seriously, what, you guys can't take me one-on-one -on -one either? What's with a fair fight anymore? Do no zombies like to fight me one-on-one? -on -one? Come on. Seriously. Oh, and we got one who wants to jump behind us as well. Seriously, want to come and hit me in the back of a shovel, dude? Hey, we got our first bit of copper. Now, I'm not actually much of a fan of building with copper. Um, there's not many things I really like to use it, but I'm sure we can see if we can figure out some way where it actually works. Keep coming. Come on. There we go. Okay, these caves just go deeper and deeper. My gosh. Whoa, whoa. Skeleton, 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 skeleton. Lots of them. Let's get out of here. Aha, see, I've got protection now. You're mine. Down you go and block and down. There we go. That's how you do it. Down in one go. Oh, it looks like your friends want to come on play as well. Well, you guys are heading the same direction. Hey, we've reached deep state level. Excellent. Okay, now this is what I'm going to need a load of. So this is going to be quite a lot of this I'm going to need for this base at least. So I think we're going to be here for a while. So guys, I'm going to get digging.
And finally, we have got our first diamonds. Let's hope it is a good vein. Let's see how many we have got. Come on, be a good vein for me. Be a good vein. Looks like it's five. Five diamonds. That's not bad. Okay, we got some more. How many have we got here? One, two. Can we find some more behind here? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Some more. How many do we have? How many do we have? Four. Ooh, five. So, ten diamonds. That's not bad. At the end of the day, ten diamonds is better than no diamonds. After several hours mine, I think we finally have enough resources to get going. We just need a couple of last bits. We need some dark oak, some spruce, and some leaves. So, let's get back to work. After a crazy amount of resource gathering, I think we are finally ready to get to some of the good stuff. So it's time to start building. Now I'm going to start with a kind of, I guess like a kind of ski style cabin just up on this hill here, right where this tree is. So I think what we're going to do is kind of like a double sided sort of front. So there'd be a side and then the roof will slope up here and then come across and then maybe down about here. And then just to the side of it, there's going to be another part, exactly the same, just a slight bit higher, but it will join to the main build. So it's kind of like one big building, but it looks like two fronts, if that makes sense. So I think that's what we're going to do here. I'm probably going to have to work in a bit of a cliff face around the edge here and then kind of slope the pathway down. And then maybe even turn this side here into a bit of a cliff face as well. So we got quite a bit of work to do, including some terraforming. So I guess it's time to get to work. We're going to start this one by clearing out this house. Here. This house is actually kind of almost embedded into part of this cliff. So it's just going to get in the way. Now, what I want to do is start working on the cliff face on the left hand side first. This cliff here is larger than the one on the right. So I want to bring this one smoothly down and blend it into the one on the opposite side and then create a curve that's going to bring it down a bit lower into the rest of the terrain. Now, I know this is episode one and we are doing some terraforming. I don't even have a base yet and I'm still working with stone tools. So this was quite a slow progress. I think all in all, the building part here of this video was about four and a half hours worth of building. So it was quite a lot of work, but it was worth it in the end. My goal here was to make this area look nice from the start. So, yep, we're in the cliffs. We're going to be doing some terraforming. But I do think that doing the terraforming earlier on, while it is a big job, it's nice to get it kind of out the way and give you the space to kind of work with for the future of your sort of town. Now over here, I did create a little area where we are going to create maybe a walkway down to the mines or something later on. But for now, I just hid some of my stuff in there because we went ahead and removed the house that I was living in so that we could extend that second cliff over because the, the lines here all worked really nice. They could really blend really well, but just like chunks of it was missing. So all I really done here was just kind of fill in those chunks of the land with a, like a kind of like a little shelter with the grass and then underneath I went ahead and just filled in all of the stonework. Now there's quite a lot of resources to gather up especially for a first episode but like I said I like to get some of these things done early in game because it makes later game much easier. Now moving on up to where we're going to actually build our base. Like I said I want a kind of ski resort. Now this is not necessarily a ski resort, maybe more so like a ski cabin, you know, that kind of nice cabin style. I think this would be a really cool little cabin looking village. 
So I wanted to use some of the nerve blocks that I've not really used an awful lot of. So things like Deep Slay and Tough, because I don't use these very often. So I wanted to use them in this build. And I think they work great as a base. They give this sort of build a nice solid structure, something that's a bit different from the cobblestone and the stone and all that that I normally use. The cabin itself for the top, I wanted it to be pretty dark. So we're using the dark oak and we're putting a border around the roof with the spruce to break up because I don't want to put too much dark oak because otherwise it's you're not going to see none of the details. And then the roof itself is made with a deep slate or tiled deep slate. And this, I think, works really well as the roof. It gives us a really nice kind of color and it kind of blends really nice in with the snowy mountains. This does feel like a winter cabin. You know, it's got that nice look. And I just went ahead and finished it up by adding in a bit of greenery. You know me, I can't resist adding a bit of greenery to some of my builds. Okay, things are looking good. We got our cabin up in the hill there. And I gotta say, that looks so nice. I'm really happy with the way that is shaped up. Still got a few little finishing details to do, like adding in some planters, maybe some hanging flower pots or something like that. Still got a bit more to do, but overall, I am very happy the way it is looking. The cliffs over here, I think, are so cool. Let's go up and take a quick look at them because they have got such a nice shape to them. Okay, so first of all, we've got a really cool little pathway here. This is actually a really natural sort of slope that's kind of generated here, which I really like. So we only really just kind of blended in a bit of the terrain and overall, it's really given it a nice shape. This is going to be our mine entrance, which we're going to work on at another time. But for now, we can get down to a think about why level 16 so we can still go down a lot further i just haven't managed to get down that far yet now coming up this little pathway here this really cool little pathway has got a really nice little curve that brings us all the way up to our cabin which i gotta say i love this cabin so much it's something different i've never really built a cabin now on the inside here i have got to do the interior which i will be doing in next episode and I want to add some color. So I'm thinking to get some colored terracotta maybe to add in some walls and add in some nice decorations. I really want to make this interior look really nice. And then coming upstairs here, it's pretty cozy actually. I did go ahead and use dark oak for the walls here just to make it look a bit nicer now. But we might change the color out later on because the outer walls are all too thick. So we can change it if we want to. In here, got a bed bedroom for now. At the moment, we've only got a bed and a couple of cabinets, but we will be adding a bunch more to this. So I think the next things we're going to need in here is going to be, well, first of all, I want to get an enchantment room. So we're going to have to get some stuff ready for enchanting. I do want to get some diamond tools. I've got, I think, 14 diamonds at the moment. So I've got them diamonds, but I don't want to use them. So I've just been sticking with stone tools and a few iron tools um, at the moment because I don't really want to waste my diamonds. I want to wait till we can get them enchanted and get a bit more use out of them because otherwise they're just going to wear away and we have to go hunting for more diamonds. So early game, I'm going to just keep them safe for now. I think it's 14 we've got. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, 14. We've got a fair bit of copper. Oh, and by the way, down here, this little... Uh, this little mine i guess it goes straight down into a amethyst geode which was awesome it fits perfectly so we can actually do something here i think we can make a bit of a farm although i don't think you can make any automatic farms out of it but you can make a sort of manual farm where you come down and break the crystals and stuff so i think that's going to be a really handy little um a little theme because it's right on top of our base which i think was here yeah here we go there we go. You can see I've already broke some of the crystals, so we've got some new ones growing. And doesn't that sound just sound so nice? I just love it. I could just jump around in here all day. So enchanting. I wish other blocks made some nice enchanting sounds like this. We could make like, some really cool little sounds by lining them up in certain positions. So as you're walking down a road, it'll make a certain tune. I think it'd be a really cool idea to add to the game. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This stairway... Going down it seems nice and quick. Don't seem too long, does it? Coming up it, yeah, that's a whole other story. We got to get some stairs going here because, wow, that was the longest journey up I have ever done. I think, you know, you kind of forget that we're up in the mountains here. So we're up in the 90s at the moment somewhere. So, I mean, gosh, can you imagine if we were up in the hundreds and we pull it all the way down, how long it would actually take to get from zero or negative 50 all the way up to where our base is? 
Ooh, especially without stairs. That would be a trick. My gosh. Anyway, guys, getting carried away a little bit here. Here is our secondary cliff over on this side. Now, I could really do with some feedback from you guys because, first of all, I was going to put in a bit of farmland here. But realistically, I think farmland would be down in the valley. Filling out some of this area around here, I think, would be where the farmland would sit. So I think here we should use for some buildings. But I don't know what sort of buildings we should put here. So I was thinking maybe a barn. But then again, if the farms are down there, you're not going to want to lug it up all the way to the top of the hills here. So maybe we could do some buildings for some automatic farms or maybe add a watchtower into the hill. I mean, we've got quite a fair bit of room here to play around with. We've got the two layers, so here and down here. But we could also sort of expand up to this part of the cliff as well. You know, we can extend it up. Um, and, of course, we can also extend down because there is plenty of room down there. But I think that kind of valley bit that runs right through the edge there, I do think that... That is going to be a really cool space to add a bit of a lake. We can add some nice fields around the lake. Maybe a few little houses. Maybe a little fishing sort of hut or something. I think it will be really cool. Using this kind of theme, you know, this kind of little cabin style builds. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, one thing I haven't actually done is add a chimney. So I will be adding a chimney onto this build here as well. So I've got to get to that. So many ideas, so many things I want to do. I just, uh, I'm a little bit hyped up at the moment, guys, because uh, I'm really enjoying the way this one is shaping up. And I gotta say, I am loving being back in survival. I have missed survival. I've, I don't know, is you don't really realize it when you're playing around and you're doing all your building and tutorials and stuff like that. But we're actually getting back into survival. I realize just how much I actually miss playing. You know, the actual survival part of the game, the grind, heading into the caves, getting all your supplies and building with those um, those sort of struggles in place. It just makes the game so much more fun. And I've got to say, this first episode has been a super fun. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there. So as always, thank you for watching. Please leave me some feedback in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.